Hello farmers, Trevor here, and I wanted to make a special and quick video. One of my subscribers, Bob, has requested to know how to recompress a map save, he tried to edit it, into a compress folder and get it to actually go back into the game. So let me come over here and say that right now I'm looking at my Farming Simulator 17 folder. This is usually in your My Documents, and I'm now going to open up the Mods folder. So this is all the different mods I have in there, and I know from experience and from having downloaded it that this Stiffy 2017 modland.net.zip is the file that we want to copy and, you know, to edit. So let me come here and I'll hit Copy. And then what I've done is I've just in any place on your computer, I have made a folder called Stiffy Edits. You, you can call it whatever you want, just a place where you can keep things straight. If you notice, I already put in a copy of this and then I renamed it Orig. So that way there's just no chance in the world that I don't have an original copy. No matter what other stupid things I do, I know I'm not going to end up editing that one. So let me copy this over a second time. And again, there's not much danger as long as we're careful, but again, I just know beyond a shadow of a doubt that this guy right here is is a, you know, never messed with thing any, in any event. What, I need to, what we need to do next is then decompress this one. So what I want to do is come into here and hit Extract All. And then it's going to ask you where you want to save it to. In this case, there's the Stiffy Edits. We're just going to extract it into this location, and that'll take a minute. If you notice, there was some other options. So if I just right-click on this, you can use 7-Zip to do the same thing. So if for some reason you're having an issue, 7-Zip's a free program that you can download. It also can deal with some archive files. You'll notice here I have a program called WinRAR. I don't think that this makes the same kind of compress, but if you ever get a RAR file, that's the way you would open it get this uh, WinRAR. I think they, it's one of those they want you to pay for, but you can kind of get away with using it, you know, for free. So in any event, now it just automatically opened. We'll go back out to Stiffy Edits. So here is, you know, the decompressed version of this. And if we open this up, we'll see this is where we have our, you know, our information that's in there. So what I'll do is, this is your actual map file. People don't tend to ever rename this. I'm not sure if they're allowed to. I imagine it's a setting that they could do, but this is the very standard naming format. Now, you can edit this in two different ways. Sometimes I find that it's easier to actually edit with a program called Notepad++. And just to show you, you can do it with a regular old notepad that comes with every Windows PC since I remember. For quite, well, that's not true didn't used to come with the old Windows, but since Windows was Windows, it I think they had a notepad on there. Uh, you can see how it opens it up, and you can come in here and look for a certain, you know, location or whatever. Like I said, sometimes I find it easier to edit with this. But if you want to be fancy and graphical about it, you can open it with Giants Editor. Now notice when it opens up, there's two different versions. If you're doing a Farm Sim 17, 15 map, you'll have this version 6. If you're doing a Farm Sim 17, you need to use this version 7. So we'll just open that up, and while that's, you know, it takes a little while to load. My computer's a relatively newer, faster one, and this map isn't overly cumbersome, but, but be patient about this process if you do that. But while this is open, and I'm just going to pretend... You know, we're not really going to change anything here. It's more about opening it and resaving it. So let me hop back to this FS17. No, not that one. Stiffy edits. So here is here is the maps folder. Why do I not? Eh, well, that's it. It just opened up small. All right, so there you go. You can see this is open. We don't, I don't want to do the download right now. And we can get rid of that. So we can come in here. We can edit the map. Whatever we want to do. You hit Alt to move your mouse around. and It's a little bit goofy. But you kind of get used to it after a little while. So, so here we are over by Field 24. And 
in uh, Gold Crest Valley by Stiffy. And let's pretend we saved it. You know, we'll go in here, we'll edit something, we'll save it, we'll close it. Yeah, no, I don't want to save this, but of course you, you would save it. And we'll close that back up. So now let's pretend we've saved something, we've made our edits, and we now need to, you know, take this file and compress it. But what you need to do, the big trick to this is come back out to the outermost level of your mod folder and you'll know you're in the right place because you'll see the mod description this doesn't matter whether you're editing a map if you're just trying to edit some other mod like a trailer or a piece of equipment come here and highlight everything in this folder right click on it and then hit send to compressed folder so it's now compressing that now this is the windows way of doing it you could also have used the 7 zip but when Windows does it, at least for me on my computer, it names it something stupid. And this is where it's real important to, you need to name it the same exact thing as it was originally named, or else when you go to open up the folder, the file, it's not going to recognize it. So let me explain why that is. If we come back to, not Stiffy Edits, but we'll come back to the Mods folder, and I am going to go back out and I'm going to look at my save game three. This is the game when you guys are watching me. This is the one that I always use. I'm going to open up this career save. And at the very top of this file is the map name. And that map name right there has got to be identical. So I'm just going to copy this. You don't have to do this if you just, you know, get the name from someplace else. You don't have to open this specific place. I'm going to close this. And I am going to go back to where we are zipping it. I hope I'm not jumping around too much for everybody. There we go. So remember, it, for some bizarre reason, named it shaders.zip. And I'm just going to paste this in here. And if you notice, that is the same exact, you need the same exact punctuation. Not that you should have too much punctuation in a file name, but capitals, everything must be absolutely identical. So there we go. So there's a new folder. So often what I'll do is I'll cut this out of here at that point, just because I don't want it sitting in that folder. You know, if, if you really felt ambitious, you could put it here. But I am going to come back to here and my mods folder. And what I would do is delete this out of there. I'm not going to do it just because I don't, you know, I'm not, I didn't really edit anything, but delete this out and or some way you know, replace the file in the destination folder. So we want to replace our mods. Shouldn't have too much to worry about because you made your original backup, remember? So even if you mess things up, you've got your original. So I'm just going to close that again. I don't, I don't want to actually do that. And that's about it. I mean, it, it's kind of that easy. But the, the real trick to it is making sure the name is absolutely identical when you get done compressing it. And if we come here to the Stiffy Edits, you know, make sure you can see this mod description. Every mod has to have that mod description thing. And, you know, there it is at that point because I canceled the cut. But so this is the one that we edited. And sometimes what I'll do, you know, like is come in here after I've successfully, this is the original. So I'm going to put like, you know, 11. 11 on this one because I can see that's the last time it was edited and then if you wanted to you know it's just more about being organized and, and file file management I guess you could call it so I could come in here if I wanted to keep a record paste this see so now I got it out of this folder it's, it's no longer in there and I put it out here and then I might rename it 1203 yeah, something like that and that way, if I do this again, you know, I'll know which the original is to give you an idea. And I'm probably meandering on too long. I'll keep this video short. Here's, you know, the Canadian national map that I started doing. And you can see I have this uh, wasn't prepared specifically, but there's my original. There's the one I, you know, made the second copy of and edited. You know, and there's two different versions of it where I have net one, net two. Now I'm waiting. Hopefully he'll come out with a map update and, you know, that gets a little tricky because I'll have to 
change all the changes that he made or <laughs> rechange everything I changed. Anyway, that's getting into something else. So, well, I hope that helps. I hope that's a simple enough explanation. And it's, you know, it is really that easy, but you just have to make sure you, you see that mod description. This is what belongs in there. Another hint, by the way, is, you know, go to your original. It, it should look identical. The zip that you end up with should look identical to the one that you created. So this one down here or up here. This is my edit of that, 1123. You know, it looks identical to this. See that? Other than maybe dates have changed here. It's, it's the same exact thing if you see the difference. There you go. Well, I hope that helps. Have a good day. Take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.